Hey, good morning, y'all. So, uh, I guess I'll start my day off with a prayer. Uh, in God's name, forgive me for my sins. Forgive me for my distrust of my fellow neighbor. Uh, forgive me for my awareness of my fellow neighbor and even the insecurities and, you know, the strange character and behavior of my fellow neighbor. Allow me to be, uh, you know, um, positive in thought, even when I am at st at peace and still, and not moving, uh, even in silence, even in complete stillness. Allow my awareness to be of holy things, or just positivity. And know that when the negativity does creep up, that my wisdom tells me that it's not real. The good and bad thoughts are not real. Acts, acts are real. Decisions you choose to make are real. And um, just to be still and to learn to just be at peace. And to also... Um, have more joy try to always remember to have more joy in life despite what you may have you know despite me how you look I don't know just keep going even at your lowest even when you feel like giving up or you just believe you're a bad person and not to judge people by their occupation and don't judge people by how they look, where they come from, their culture, the differences, to appreciate the differences in all humans. <clears throat> so we're on Matthew 5. To be strong and courageous within ourselves, to accept ourselves so we do not covet other people's things. And... I know that knowledge is just from God. All things are from God and taken by God and granted by God. It's not because of me that I am who I am. Matthew 5, the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon on the Mountain. <clears throat> Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him. The Beatitudes. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of, of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Salt and light, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the stand. And it gives light to all in the house in the same way that your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Christ came to fulfill the law. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until it is all accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. If 
For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Anger, you have heard that is, it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother will be liable to the council, and whoever says you fool will be liable to the hell of fire. So if you are offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your accuser while you are going with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge and the judge to the guard and you be put in prison. Truly I say to you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. Lust, you have heard that it is that it was said you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman with lustful intent has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out, throw it away. For it is better that you lose one of your members than your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, Cut it off and throw it away, for it is better that you lose one of your members than your whole body go into hell. Divorce. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of sexual immorality, makes her commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Oaths. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of old, we shall not swear falsely, but all, either by heaven, for it is the throne of God, or by the earth, for it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. And do not take an oath by your head, for you cannot make one hair white or black. Let what you say be simply, simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Retaliation, you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil, but if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go with him two miles. Give to the one who begs from you, and do not refuse the one who would borrow from you. Love your enemies, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy, but I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same. And if you greet only your brothers, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same. You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Reading this out loud and knowing these people are going to hear what I'm saying is pretty intense. It's pretty, pretty bewildering, to be honest with you. Using big words, but that's all ego. Let your words not be yes or no. Everything else is comes from evil. When I use big words, I know it's, it's like an ego thing. It's a... It's because I choose to use big words like it's, it's I'm, I'm, I want to show you how smart I am. <laughs> but God is the smartest. The good, the love is the smartest. Anyway, y'all, that's the end of Matthew 5. Peace.